You have so much knowledge and so much content that you might be thinking that training an AI version of you will be a huge job and you are not alone. How long does it take to train an AI version of me is the most common question people ask us. And of course, it depends, but it depends on some very specific things that I'm gonna explain right now so that you have all the information before getting started. I'm Jody, founder of Coachbox, where busy thought leaders like you sign up and create an AI version of themselves in what we think is the fastest and most effective way possible in your style and using content you already have. Coaches, entrepreneurs, and creators train their AI, then embed it on their website to collect leads, inside a membership group to add value to existing customers, or they charge a subscription for access to the AI version of them, making a truly passive revenue stream. So I get it. You want the benefits right now, so you want to know how long it's going to take. And this varies depending on these five factors that I'll cover one by one. The first factor is how much you know yourself and what you want your AI to achieve. As soon as you're into Coachbox, you will complete training rooms one and two. This is where you answer some basic questions about who you are, who you help, and your personality. You also slide the style sliders to match your AI style to the way you work with clients or how you engage your audience. In the second training room, you give your AI your unique phrases. Those greetings and sign-offs and reaction statements that match the language that real you uses. So this might take between 15 minutes and maybe an hour, depending on how well you know yourself and how you communicate when you coach or advise. Once you've completed these sections, you will have an AI that can interact with your audience in your style. It will use your bio and your key phrases, and you can collect signups as soon as it's embedded or linked somewhere using the code in your dashboard. The basics are done. In the Engage training room, we have starter prompts. These help direct the conversation with your AI because every user sees them when they begin the chat. You add options and select up to four to display. So the thing you need to know here is what do you want your AI to do? Maybe it's to help people understand your product, help them with a specific problem, help them access a specific resource or something else aligned with your business goals. How long to set up your starter prompts and train your AI with the best answer to them? Potentially up to 20 minutes, depending on how much you need to think or how much you need to do research first. But you can change these at any point in the future. They don't need to be right straight away. The second factor is how much you know your audience. You don't need your AI to help everyone. You need it to help the people who fit the description of your ideal customer. The more you know the problems, challenges, and burning questions of those people, the more you can focus on your AI giving them a great experience. You might be thinking right now, you can predict what they will chat to your AI about because you do know their biggest challenges, in which case that's a few minutes of thinking time. If you don't know off the top of your head, you might need to chat to them or you might need to do some more research. And this of course will require more time. It's very likely your audience will have given you clues as to what they want to know from you. Those clues will be in your most viewed YouTube videos, your most popular podcast episodes, those FAQs, the most common requests via email. Here's where the starter prompts also work well because you can help direct the chat toward those conversation topics. If people are going to ask your AI about a narrow field of expertise or they all have very similar challenges, it will take less time to train it. If you have an audience with a very broad or unspecified interest, you have a lot more ground to cover. But aim to start with those most common topics and prioritize those when uploading your content. And this brings me on to the third factor in how long it takes to train your AI, and that's the format your content is in. You absolutely do not have to upload everything you've ever produced. This is a big pitfall to avoid because you can waste hours generating unnecessary training data, just throwing everything in. The best content for your AI is simply written text documents covering your key areas of expertise. Those will produce great training data. So this includes articles, blog posts, books, FAQs, documents, white papers, and scripts from videos or podcasts. Unscripted transcripts or heavily formatted PDFs will provide less good content that will probably need editing. So for transcripts, that's because people tend to speak in a very conversational and fragmented way that doesn't always translate well to training data. And formatted PDFs often split information up in a way that document readers find it tricky to handle. So the more clear, concise and plain your information, the better for your AI and the faster it will be to train it. The more you understand training data, the better experience for you, the better result of your AI. And we have loads of short explainer videos that you can watch that I will link below. 
For most people, uploading content that is converted into AI training data by our system should take a few hours of dedicated time, but it could be a little less or even a few days if you have a lot of content that needs more editing. So combining the two factors of audience requirements and content quality, if your audience has a very broad set of interests and potential questions, and you have loads of very messy content, it will take a long time to cover every area. If your audience has very niche interests with many of the same challenges and you have content that's easy to upload, it won't take very long at all. The fourth factor is how quickly you can test your AI. The first part of testing is fine tuning. After you've uploaded the relevant content to Coachbox, if you can spend 30 minutes non-stop in our fine tuning training room, your AI will go from being a lump of clay to a sculpted masterpiece that you should be pretty impressed with. This is where your AI learns how to put together everything you've told it so far. Your style, your expertise, your content applied to the conversations it's likely to have with your audience. You'll be giving it feedback that it uses to apply going forward and it improves with every rating and edit. So the AI version of you travels that learning curve very quickly. If you can spend 30 minutes in this room, great. 60, even better, chatting with it about different topics within your expertise. And after that, we recommend running a short alpha test to get initial feedback. This means sending your AI's link to 10 to 20 people, telling them what your AI is designed to help them with and asking them to have a chat and tell you what they think. If you can send some messages and get people trying and feeding back straight away, this can be done within a few hours. If you're setting up a proper trial, maybe leave a week between sending it out and collecting feedback but this feedback will help the quality because firstly, you'll see all the conversations so you can edit the responses your AI gives going forward. And secondly, you'll get their commentary on the entire thing so that you can make any adjustments. If you want, you can even ask us. We will very happily take your AI for a spin and suggest anything you can do to improve the experience. We also have guidance that you can follow on designing and implementing a trial to make it super simple. The final factor in speed to train your AI is how much you can outsource. Remember, you don't need to do this yourself. Many of our top creators enlisted the help of a VA or another team member in uploading content and getting their model ready. That meant the creator's actual input was minimal. They handed the project to their VA who watched the guidance and the training videos and asked for whatever they needed. We have another video designed for your VA on how they can train an AI version of you. And they might be way quicker than you at sorting everything out while you do other things. So it could take you 10 minutes to brief them, less than an hour to give them the information they need, and then half an hour to review when they're done. Maybe you have someone in mind who you know would do a really good job, or maybe having heard the other four factors, you're thinking that you know what you need to do yourself and you're really excited to get started. To recap, how long it takes to train an AI version of you depends on how well you know yourself, how well you know your audience, the format of your content, how fast you can test, and finally, how much you can outsource. You can get started right now by signing up for your free trial at coachbox.ai. Once you're in, you can even set a timer and see how fast you can train and launch. The world needs the AI version of you and we are so excited to have you on board.